Hello everyone, welcome to One Finance. And in this video, we're going to cover financial ratio analysis. And just to recap, financial ratio analysis is actually a means of evaluating the financial health of a company. And it is also known as fundamental analysis. And fundamental analysis would tell you what companies to buy, while technical analysis would tell you when to buy those companies. In particular, we we're going to focus on asset management ratios. So we have five day sales in inventory. We have day sales outstanding, days payable. You have the cash conversion cycle and asset turnover. So first we have the day sales in inventory. It measures how long would it take for the company to run out of inventory. Our formula we have here, inventory divided by average days of cost of goods sold. So that's gonna be 490 divided by um, 3.01, okay? That's coming from our inventory and cost of goods sold. And you will have the DSI of 163 days. Next, we have the day sales outstanding. It measures the ratio of accounts receivable to the credit sales per day. Our formula for that, we have accounts receivable divided by um, average credit sales per day. So that would mean 200 divided by 4.93, and that would give you 40 days. So we have here days payable outstanding. It measures the ratio of accounts payable balance to the purchases per day. In our formula, we have accounts payable divided by the average purchases per day. So that's going to be 150 divided by 3. And that would give us 50 days. So here we have the cash conversion cycle. It measures how long it takes for the company to get cash from its inventory and receivables. So our formula, we have DSI plus DSO minus DPO, and that would give us 153 days. Now, since we're talking here about how fast the company can you know, get back its cash from inventory and receivables, we would want to see this figure you know, as low as possible. So the last one, we have the asset turnover. It measures how well the assets have been used in generating sales. So here we have the formula sales divided by total assets. And that's going to be 1,800 divided by 1,500. And that will give us an asset turnover of 1.2 um, times. So it would mean that per um, one peso of um, asset, it was able to generate 1.2 in sales. Okay, one, one peso and let's say 20 centavos. So here we have a better way of analyzing the asset management ratios. So we would want to see DSI and DSO lower, as low as possible. So here we have 163 versus 170, 165. So that's going to be a good you know, criteria for us to consider this company. Next, we have the DSO 40, 45 versus 35. So perhaps that would give us a neutral stand. Now for the DPO, we would want this one to be longer because, you know, longer number of days for payables, meaning we can still make use of that cash for, let's say, potential short-term investments. And in this case, um, that's going to be unfavorable for the company because the alternative company offers 55 days while the industry is actually at 60 days. Now for the cash conversion cycle, Again, uh, this is how fast the company can, you know, uh, get back its cash. So it should be the lowest figure as possible. Here we have 153 compared to 120 
and 140 of the industry. So that will be, again, um, another um, X factor right there. And for the asset turnover, it's going to be the, the you know, higher figure, the better, because it talks about, you know, the generation of sales using your assets. So 1.2 versus 1.2 industry at 1.0. So that's going to be a good you know, criteria for you to consider buying one finance company. So that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you in part three.